Well, I'm Roger Bisbee from the Skill Builder Channel, and uh, I'm not an electrician, I'm a plumber, but I've got a customer here that has got a problem with their electrics and they can't get the sparks to come out. They just wondered if I could throw some light on it. I thought I'd just show you what I'm gonna do in terms of process of elimination because it may help you if you're a householder and suddenly all your electrics go. So we've got a consumer board here and this is fairly typical. The lights are working, so that's a good thing. We don't have to get the torch out. I switch all the circuits off, leave the lights on because we know they're okay. So I switch all the circuits off. The RCD or residual current breaker will now work. So what we do is we go through each one. They're all labeled here, which is very nice because a lot of the time they're not. The shower, that goes on. The cooker, that goes on. So we know it's nothing to do with those two. The third one is the immersion heater. Now we've switched that on, but it may not be switched on upstairs, but the downstairs lights are on. We've got the upstairs lights, number six, smoke detector. So there's only one left and that is the RCD sockets. They've got all the sockets on one residual current breaker. So we switch that one on and then we get a trip straight away. So we know now that the only one we've got to worry about is this 32 amp ring main, if you like, that's going all around the sockets upstairs and downstairs. So now it's a very simple thing because we know it's something to do with those sockets. So the first thing we do, go around the house and we unplug every single thing from the sockets and then try again. We can unplug the microwave. Coffee maker, I'll take that out. We've got an electric kettle running off one of these. So that is a potential problem. Take the kettle out. Let's take the phone charger out. That's a router under there. So we're gonna knock the internet out. It causes the householder to scream because they lose contact with the outside world for 10 seconds. It seems to me he could do with some more sockets in his house because he's using a lot of these little adapters here, which are all right when it's fairly low wattage trailing leads and we've got more trailing leads coming off here and we'll take that out now we've unplugged everything in the house downstairs and upstairs what i'll do now switch on it's fine we now know that it's something to do with something that's plugged in it's nothing to do with the main wiring ring main so there's no little shorts happening there we haven't got to start taking socket covers off so again this is something the householder can do because this is not a job that needs a qualified electrician at this moment in time. I've got the homeowner plugging things in, back in for me. Plugging in, turning on. Oh. Microwaves are right, chargers are right. Do you want to go with the what, the internet next? Phone charger, internet, kettle. Kettle, yeah, try the kettle. Yeah. Have you got some water in the kettle? <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, that's the one, okay. So we know it's the kettle, all right? So switch it off. Switch it back on again. Okay. So that's on. The kettle's on. Let me come and have a look at the kettle. The kettle, we believe, may be the culprit, but we don't know because we just switched it back on and it stayed on. Why was that? Ah, yeah. oh, there you are. Yeah. Let's have a look at the bottom of the kettle. Bit of something going on there. It could be a small leak in the bottom of that kettle that's causing the problem. So I'm just trying to see if it if it's just a bit of residual moisture of it. Switch it on here. That's it, it's definitely the kettle. It's definitely in that switch. So I think that this is, in this day and age, the easiest thing is a new kettle. So let's assume that that's all right, but we're not gonna run away because I've had this before where you run away and then they say it's still happening. So we just go around and we plug everything else in. I'll get the householder to plug it in because they know the way around their house. And if they just plug everything else in one by one, I've got to turn it back on, so hang on. Right, it's back on now. So you just start plugging things in one by one. Go on then. At least the smoke alarm's settled down anyway. Television back on. All right, that's the light back on. I'm thinking about this ball now, and I'm thinking that the only thing that may actually have RCCB protection, if you like, is this one. In other words, none of these are protected by this. All this is doing is protecting what's to the right of it so that's not great because that means it's got the shower unprotected and all the other things so I'm not sure about that I'm not going to take the cover off electrician's game not mine he's been quite happy living with this system so I'm not going to talk him into a new one so all it needs is a customer's got to go and buy a new kettle which is no bad thing is it <laughs> saves a few quid